The New York Police Department ordered to reform its stop and frisk practice by a federal court judge who found the policy unconstitutional. It is Monday, August 12th. Welcome to Lunch Break. I'm Wendy Bounds. Here with the story is Wall Street Journal Greater New York Assistant Editor Tom Namako. Tom, thank you for being here. Uh, this has been a controversial practice to say the least. Just we sort of all kind of intuitively know what stop and frisk is, but but what is it? It's the a policy. practice where a police officer on the street sees somebody who they believe is acting suspiciously. Um, and if they see someone who they think is acting suspiciously, they'll go up to the person and say, you know, uh, what's going on? You know, is anything anything happening here? And then they will actually frisk, frisk the person to see if they have any kind of contraband or weapon on them, you know, their pockets, their person, uh, th those kind of things. And defenders of this practice say it obviously helps reduce crime. Uh, let's talk about what the judge found in her ruling. Now, the judge found in the ruling that the practice actually violates uh, the constitutional rights of minorities that they are uh, improperly targeted, that the majority of blacks and Hispanics are being stopped and frisked. And she's being very specific in her language in that and talking about this policy, saying that this policy has resulted in the disproportionate, we're looking at it right here, and discriminatory stopping of blacks and Hispanics in violation of the Equal Protection Clause. Some of the stats uh, on this are, are somewhat uh, dramatic. I mean, but they were saying between 2004 and 2012, the police made about 4.4 million stops under the program. 80, more than 80 percent of those stopped were either black or Hispanic, correct? Yes, that's true. Uh, and 90 percent weren't charged with a crime. Right. So this obviously, it seems to have played into the into her in her ruling. Yes, certainly. And in the ruling, she actually says, uh, or actually says that the NYPD, um, you know, kind of top officials turned a blind eye uh, to, to this practice. Ray Kelly, the New York uh, City Police Commissioner, he was here at the Wall Street Journal's uh, WSJ Live studios earlier this year talking to our Opinion Journal team, uh, and he addressed this very issue. I think we should just take a listen to what he had to say back in March. We believe everything that we're doing is according to the to the Constitution. One of the allegations in this case is that it, it, it manifests racial bias because almost 90 percent of the people stopped are either uh, black or uh, Latino. The judge now saying going forward that this practice needs to be pretty closely monitored, Tom. Uh, what does that mean? Will somebody be appointed to help them reform the practice in, in layman's terms, sort of what happens? Yeah, they, they appointed a person who used to be uh, a prosecutor in Manhattan and also was a city attorney at one point, and he'll take a look at the practice and review the stops and frisks that happen and see if uh, there's anything disproportionate happening, if everything is above board. This person might also be able to suggest changes in the practice itself. And those, uh, we've seen some very high profile people such as Al Sharpton who have obviously applauded this ruling. Yes. All right, Tom Namako, thanks so much for being Thank with you. us more in the Greater New York section.